Welcome to TechSibo.com. This is part 22 of creating responsive website with ASP.NET and Bootstrap. If you haven't watched the previous videos, either you watch the video or download the project files, links in the description. In the last video we designed our all products page, now we need to bind the datas from the DB to the design. In our design we have product image URL, brand name, product name, product price, selling price, and discount amount. These are the data we need to fetch from DB. So in this case we can use repeater control, the repeater control is used to display a repeated list of items. This is the division we want repeat based on the data, that is if we have three product the repeater creates three divs with the data. In data tab double click and add repeater control. Surround the division with repeater. Next add item template. Here we surround the division with the item template to repeat. Now we added repeater and item template. Create an ID to repeater. Next we need a data source for our repeater. So create a function in page load to bind our repeater with data table. We already binded repeater with data table in the previous video. In this we can use procedure to bind our repeater because we are fetching data from multiple tables. Add the references. Here we add procedure name. Also change command type to stored procedure. Now let's create our procedure. Here we are fetching data from TBL products. Also we need image URL from TBL product images, so we want top one row from the images table. In this case we can use cross apply.
With using desk we get the latest added product first. Lastly we need brand name, so inner join TVL brands. Now execute the stored procedure. Now let's check the data table if we fetched all data in data table with breakpoint. Now we get data from procedure to repeater. Now we need to display our data in the specific region, in this case we use eval function. First let's bind our brand name. Here type the column that we are fetched with procedure. Like this add eval function for other components. To get full image URL we need PID image name and extension. To improve SEO put image name in image alt name. Next we need to calculate the discount amount and also another problem is that the field name of both brand name and image name is same. So this problems can be solved in procedure, so let's alter the procedure little bit.
Now add and change the new values. Refresh the page, now you can see our products are binded correctly. Add more data to the DB, so that you can see beauty of our product page. Add link to the products page in master page. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up, it helps our channel a lot, thank you.